Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to fix this camera. Cameras are a bit of a, a dark art. Um, uh, you obviously won't have this problem if you're sticking strictly to, to first-person view, but uh, if you are planning to do a third-person camera like I am, then you need to understand a little bit more about how cameras work. The good news is, uh, because we're using a mech, we don't have to worry about going inside uh, which is actually one of the biggest problems with third-person cameras. But two episodes ago when I slapped this together, I kind of wasn't thinking very carefully about it. And you can see that it uh, it kind of doesn't work right. Uh, it, it doesn't feel connected to the mech properly. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make it so that the mech will turn instantly in the direction you're pointing the camera. So to do that, we just have to modify the player mech con the mech controller that we've got here. And we can see that what we have is um, this lerp where we turn the camera towards an ideal position. Um, so let me see here, what have we got? Ah, here we are, here we are. The ideal position is, is the ideal position of the camera rather than of the mech. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and take out the lerp and just set it to that flat out. But we're also going to go ahead and take out the lerp here um, because we want our mech to look towards the ideal forward instantly without any kind of delay. So all I've done is taken, taken out the lerps um, and a lerp simply glides towards your, your target and in this case we don't want to glide, we just want it to be rocket propelled. And as you can see we're already a little bit better off but we have a little bit of a jitter um, so the way we can fix the jitter is, uh, what the main problem is, is that when we move the camera, it doesn't, uh, it interacts poorly with everything, uh, with the actual, um, uh, when we move the camera, it shifts and then it looks, uh, and we get this very, very jittery motion. Uh, and a big part of that happens here. In, our, in the order of our execution. So we control where the camera looks using a script called the um, here it is, the mouse look script. So that's what makes our camera look. Whereas this script, the mech controller, actually moves our camera around. We don't want to do it in the order it's currently happening. Right now we are moving and then looking. We really want to look and then move. So the execution order is wrong. Uh, it's backwards. The good news is you can set the execution order. Let's go ahead and see if I can remember how to do that. Um, project settings, script execution order. Here it is. All right, so let's go ahead and add a couple of scripts. We're going to go ahead and add the first person mech. Uh, here it is, mouse look. So we just add the mouse look first, and then we're going to add the mech controller second. And you can see that it no longer jitters. Now it is perfectly fine. Moreover, our run animation seems to have sorted itself out. I swear I didn't do anything to it, um, but we're no longer having the bug that we were having. But we are having a, a, a bug where we actually failed uh, to create some chunks. I wonder what we did wrong. Oh, because we changed the chunk execution order, I bet I bet we did something stupid and just didn't realize it. Or maybe it was just... That might be a bug we have to hunt down more aggressively, because I'm not sure what caused it. Um, it could just be... I've got, the, uh, I've got the view distance set so incredibly small that it might have been a problem with us moving faster than it was actually uh, spawning chunks. Well, anyhow, that's a bug we'll leave for later. So this was pretty was a pretty quick episode, but I really wanted to make 
script execution its own episode because it's a complicated topic that you don't often see brought up very much and it's actually a really really nasty situation a lot of people make the mistake of having the camera move uh, and then look but when but nearly all of the time you want the camera to rotate and then move so you should always remember in your own code rotate then move not move then rotate um, for cameras for looking at something that is moving you want to move the thing and then look at it um, so that sort of order is extremely important but in this particular game we've split it up into two different scripts which made it a real nightmare um, to explain what was going on so we just have to make sure that the script that rotates the camera executes before the script that moves the camera and that's what we did in this episode um, I kinda just kinda half-assed it this was my very first take but I hope it's clear enough for everyone to understand and in the next episode I think we'll go ahead and refine how this mech is moving so that it doesn't get stuck on every single little step alright see ya